Well, there's a common notion in the game of Rugby Sevens that possession is king. Well, one team that don't particularly believe that theory is Fiji. They're all about utilising the ball when they have it, rather than always having the ball. Now, a few stats to throw in there. They have the ball for an average possession of 176 seconds per game on day two in Hamilton, the most important games. Quarterfinals, semi-finals and final, winning that final against South Africa with just 138 seconds of possession. What's more important than that is digging down deeper into their numbers, that they score a try every 1.6 rooks, or with six passes. Now I've got a few examples just to show how that's seen in practice rather than just with the numbers. So the latter stage is this brutal quarter-final against Samoa. Fiji know they need the ball, they've not had it long, but when they get it, four Samoans have been committed to the breakdown, five Fijians, making that nine players in a five-metre area. They find the space, one pass shifted across the Nosoko, who gets the big left fend, gets the leg striding out, showing that how important it is when you have the ball in the crucial moments, you can create scoring opportunities. Done so in front of all the support bouncing in the crowd. Fantastic to see. Now onto the semi-final, and this second clip is all about the Fijians being ruthlessly efficient, but barely having the ball for long. It comes from a penalty. Just two passes exploit this incredibly tight New Zealand defence and you can see five defenders there been cut off with just two passes. As the ball is continued to shift it across, it's a three on two. Commonly seen in the game of 15s, but doesn't need to be too complicated. Kunabula, left foot step, wins the collision against Ware and puts the ball down, this time in the opposing corner. So both clips so far from the quarter-final and semi-final showing just how ruthlessly efficient this Fijian team can be. But the most impressive statistic of their performance in Hamilton was in the final they had the ball for 138 seconds, less than their average, but it shows once more just how good they are with ball in hand. This time, Quagga Smith, one of the best breakdown specialists in the game of sevens, is pushed off. But Naduva needs to be watched. The man who's on the floor currently tracks the ball and as Vero Malua does his usual offloading skills it's that man once again Nosoko poised with a situation of a two on two Africa and Sanatla stopping them as two of the fastest men on the series but Naduva runs a lovely line round the outside blocking that end defender and celebrating what was a remarkable victory barely having the ball so it shows once more just how important it is to not only have the ball, but be good enough to do things with it.